Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial by Zebra Code. In this tutorial, we are going to look at how to fix cannot open include file crtdbg.h and lnk1104 cannot open file ucrtd.lib in Visual Studio. This error can occur even when you have only just installed the Visual Studio. Sometimes it also occurs even if you have used the Visual Studio editor successfully before on your computer. Irrespective of when it occurred, we are going to look at how to fix it in this tutorial. This is an example of how one can encounter this error message. This is a C++ code which is perfectly all right. No issues found. But when you build it and try to run it, you get this error message. SIM 1084 cannot open include crtdbg.h, no such file or directory. You get this error message even when the directory actually exists on your computer. And this is the second error message. LNK1104 cannot open file ucrtd.lib. Even when this file exists on your computer, you get this error message from Visual Studio. So how do we fix it? It is easy to fix this error message. You have two files that you need to include. They are already installed on your computer when you install Visual Studio. The first one here is in the include folder. Right, the second one is in the lib folder. In case you cannot find them on your system when you follow this path, then you would have to download the Windows SDK. You can download it for Windows 8.1, Windows 10 or Windows 11 by following this link to their official website where you can download it and install it. And once you have installed it, you will now have these two parts on your computer system. With that said, now let's actually fix the problem. But before we do that, if you have not subscribed to this channel, kindly take a minute and subscribe to the channel. Now, I am going to open Visual Studio so that we can fix this error. Now, I have Visual Studio open. I have already typed up this code and there are no errors in this code. It says here, no issues found. But when I try to build it, I will get an error message that it cannot open the file. So let's build it. Yes, we have some error messages now. I close this one here. Yes, now we have this error message. It says here, fatal error C1083 cannot open include file crtbg.h. No such file or directory. Actually, this directory exists on my computer. Even though this directory exists on my computer, it says it cannot find it. When I installed Visual Studio, this folder was installed. This is the folder. This is the part. It is in C colon bar slash program files S it is Windows Kids 10 include then it shows this number and you see RT. This is where it was installed on my computer. I'm going to copy this path. In case you don't know where it is on your computer, I can go through it with you again. You click on the drive, C drive. Go to program files. Make sure it's the one that says S it is. Double click on it. Now click on Windows key. It depends on your operating system. If it is 8.1, you open that folder. If it is 
Windows 10, you open this one. If it is Windows 11, you open that one. In my case, I am on Windows 10, so I will double click on this. Now we are going to include the file. So the first option will be the one for the include. Double click on this folder, include. If it was installed with your Visual Studio, you would find it here. If it wasn't, maybe you downloaded it from their website. If you have downloaded the SDK, it will also show up here. So you will find it here. Now, this is the latest because I have it twice. I have to go for the latest one, which was this one. The dates are different. So this is the latest one. I will click on this one. And now inside this folder, click on this one that says UCRT. Great. So it takes us back to the same part that we were on before. This is another way you can get to it. So copy it if you like. If you don't copy it, it's not a problem. We will still find another way to get here. Now let's go to our project in Visual Studio. Let me close this one. Okay. Now that we are inside Visual Studio, right click on the name of your project and go to properties. So this page will open. Click on VC++ directories and click on include directories. When you click on include directories, you will have this downward pointing arrow click on it and here it says edit double click on it at nine you will come to this page double click inside this page to make it active and you will now have this search folder at the right side of it you can paste what you copied before if you had copied that one in my case i copied it so I can click OK if I want to continue like that. But to show you how you can find it, I am going to delete it there. Now double click on it. This search folder is active. Now click on it. And here click on the C drive. Here program file S here it is. Windows Kits. Double click on it. I am on Windows 10. I will double click on it. Now I am looking for the include folder. I will double click on it. And this is the one that is the latest. I will double click on it. I will double click on the UCRT. Now click select folder. Again, it's exactly the same thing as the one I pasted here before. So you have selected it. Now click OK. Apply. Now click OK. So this time, let's build our application once again great exactly so that error message is gone now we have the second error message which is lnk1104 cannot open file ucrtd.li which means we also need to add this library to our application so as it cannot find this library we need to add it to our project just like we did for the other one the difference here now is that we are looking for the library not the include so let's do the same thing again now right click on it go to properties this time click on linka this one here double click on it or click on it to make it active and here click additional library directories when you click on the additional library directories this 
downward pointing arrow will become visible now click on it again edit double click on it great and now we have this window open double click any area in the white space here to make it active and now the search feed icon is active click on it great now this one will open click on the c drive here click on program files s86 scroll down to windows kits click on it this time windows 10 that is the platform i am on double click on it and now we are looking for the lib folder the first one was for the include folder this one is for the lib folder so double click on it again click the number that corresponds to your folder this is the latest for me i will click on it and again i will click on ucrt and now select the option you are on with your visual studio mine is 64 again if you look at it here debug s64 though you can change it but for now i am on 64 make sure you select 64 if that is what you are having here so in this case i'm going to select 64 and now click select folder yes now it's appearing here it's fine click ok apply ok ok now i'm going to close this one and build it again build great it was built successfully no error message anymore now let's run our code click on this one here great so it says here now hello world now we are able to run our application successfully i'm going to close this one this one then so this is how you fix the error message in visual studio if for a reason you are not able to find this part on your system you would have to download and install the windows sdk you can follow this part to download it by following the web link in the previous slide you will come to this web page which is their official website this is the official website for Microsoft that you can download the Windows SDK from. It depends on your operating system. If it is Windows 7, you will download and install this one. If it is Windows 10, you will download and install this one. And if it is for earlier releases, for example, Windows 8.1, you can download and install the SDK from here. So in this tutorial, we have successfully fixed the error messages, cannot open include file crtdbg.h and lnk1104 cannot open file ucrtd.lib. We have added the two files to our application and we can now run our C++ program successfully in Visual Studio. I hope you learned something from this video subscribe to this channel comment in the comment section and like the video thank you for watching and see you in my next video bye for now